Hey friends, it is Tammy with Cheers to Creativity here on Thursday. The sun is shining here. Not for long though. We're supposed to get that white stuff coming back down. Hope you are all having a fabulous day. I'm going to see if I can pull me up on our Essential Stencil page here so I can watch for some comments. But please know I will go back and look for comments afterwards. Um, that's kind of like my, my fun little thing. I get to share some things with you guys and then I get to go up and clean my stencils and my brushes and then I sit down and have lunch and read through your comments. There we are. Awesome. Oops. Apparently we just found us. Okay, let me know when you pop on. Oh, I see Cindy and, <clears throat> and Lois. Oh my goodness. Hello, Sherry. So if you guys could be so, so sweet and let others know what we're doing here, if you would sprinkle it or cheer it around, that would be great. I would love that so, so much. We'd also love it for you to follow us over on Cheers to Creativity. That is my business page where we do lots of fun things with stenciling, painting, and other fun creative things. Oh, look at all you guys popping on, popping on. I was looking last week at all the different states that they came from. I thought, how fun would it be if one time I had every, someone from every state? That would be awesome. That would just be so fun. Okay. So I'm sure you guys are very excited to know that all the spring stencils are in stock right now. So if you didn't buy a bundle or you didn't pre-order, you still can get those spring stencils. So I'd get them while you can. They may not be around forever and ever. And we're going to do a project in a little bit with some of the new spring stencils. There are so many to do and so many projects. But I actually want to start with something I've been wanting to do for a while. And I'm just going to make a little sweet little sign with some lemons. Okay, so I'm going to start today using the lemon three pack. This is a set that's been around for a while, but it's still there, <laughs> which is nice. So the lemon three pack has three little lemon themed things in it. There's easy peasy lemon squeezy. There is, let me open this one. Oops, I opened it but didn't pull the, 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 the thing out with it. So we have fresh squeezed lemonade. And the third one in there <laughs> says, you are my main squeeze. Okay, I can set those aside for right now because we're gonna be using this one. And we're also gonna be, <laughs> throwing things are also going to be using one of the signs from I think one of my absolute favorite packs this is a six pack of positive sayings and they're just so useful for so many things use them on cards add them to signs put several of them together to make a nice long sign but I just think they're really great there's live simply choose joy be kind um, be the good stay humble and simply blessed so, there I go. Is that the one we're using? I think that's the one we're using. We'll find out. So, I'm going to put you down. Here we go. I'm doing my first sign today just on um, a piece of thin wood that I'm going to frame. Um, but you could do this on any size. You could even do this on watercolor paper. In fact, when I was playing with it, that's what I was playing with it on was some watercolor paper. Um, just to make sure I knew what I was doing. <laughs> And I'm, I want this to be a wreath, so I need to start with a circle. And we do have some wreath type things from Sins of the Month Club, but <laughs> this is what I'm using, okay? This, this, is, this is one of my uh, water containers. And I'm just gonna put it down on here. Probably don't need all these either, do I? Probably not. And I'm gonna very lightly just go around this so I give myself an idea where this circle is. Just to give myself an idea one for placing my lemons and also for keeping where I need my saying to go. I'm going to actually do my saying first. That way I'm not going to be reaching over my potentially just finished stencils of my lemons. So I'm going to put my live simply in the middle here. Look, I actually have tape today. I don't have to holler for my husband to bring me tape. <laughs> and I'm just gonna grab this and tape it down. It's so good to see all of you. I would so appreciate it if you would be a honey and share or sprinkle or whatever it is we're going to do today. Let me grab a brush and some paint. 
I was playing with some paint for our poppy for later. I'm going to just grab, to keep this really simple, except I might need something to offload on. Here we go, some paper towels. So I'm going to load my brush. We want to load our brush so that there is ample paint on there, but we never want to take it directly here to there. So we always want to be offloading. We'd much rather have to give it a second coat than to have to deal with bleed. So I'm just going to give this a quick little swirl. I'm using our essential stencil brushes. If you've never tried essential stencil brushes, they are just the bomb diggity. They are awesome. They're, I think, the best brushes out there. And we also have detail brushes for those times you want to fill in the bridges, or they also work for a lot of other small detail work as well. Let me get you a little closer, maybe. Making sure you can see, okay? So I'm gonna peek, I'm a peeker. And I think we're good. The top of this L look like it could have a little more. Okay, so I've got Live Simply on there. Guys, make sure you're commenting because Essential Stencil is going to give away three sets of stencils at the end of our live. And if you happen to be catching replay, make sure you hashtag replay because then we can set you up with another set of stencils. They give one more set of stencils set of stencils away in the next 24 hours. I tell you, essential stencil stencils. <laughs> it's a mouthful some days. All right, I'm not gonna be using all of this sign. I'm just gonna be using the lemons. And I'm gonna grab some tape so I don't get where I don't want it. I think lemons are one of the, just, just a very classic design. So I think it's something that we can, decorate with. I think it's something that, <clears throat> um, well, of course, love our lemonade. It makes us think of summer, but lemons are year round. I guess what I was trying to get at. Just going to tape off what I know I'm not going to need. And I'm going to tell you that there's absolutely no wrong way to do this. If you just want a couple lemons hanging off the bottom, if you want to go all the way around, I think I'm going to go all the way around today. And I'm just going to use that guide as a guide. I'm not going to stay on it exactly. If you put, if you trace over something like that and you look first and you can really see that outline, I would suggest trying to erase a little bit of it because you're really not going to need it to see it. You don't want to see it through your lemons. I had a little bit of a spot that I got from the top of the top and bottom of the stencil. I didn't see. Q-tips are our friends. So I'm going to take a pretty lemon color. It'd be funny if it was actually lemon. Oh, it's sunny day. Okay. My colors I use are Decoart, but any acrylic paint will do you. I am going to wrap this in something damp so that I don't let it dry out. Hang on. We're going to have to make a damp cloth because I didn't grab one. So that's what I do when, I'm, when I've got a brush that I think I might be using again. I just wrap it in a damp paper towel. You can also put it in a Ziploc or something like that, just so it doesn't dry out completely. Ah, that's what I was looking for earlier. Found it, great. Okay, so I'm going to grab a brush. I'm gonna load it up. I'm gonna offload it. And I'm just gonna start placing some lemons. And I'm noticing that I can still see that line through my lemon. So I might need to erase it even a little more. Let me see if I've got an eraser here. I should, I should, I should. It's not that it's bad. I just think I'm just gonna lighten my line up a little bit. By the time I get all my greenery on there and everything else, you'll never see it, but it was bothering me, so. So we laid this one down here. I'm gonna put it back on there, why? I'll show you. Got a handful, a uh, lap full of ta tape. <laughs> Maybe that's why I don't lose it. I'm just gonna line it back up. All right, we started by filling in our little lemon. I'm actually gonna take another brush. Oh, 
I messed up with my other small one upstairs. Oh, here's another small one, okay. And I'm gonna go with just a different shade. I'm gonna try just going with a darker yellow first. If I need to, I can add a tiny bit of brown to it, but I don't think I'm gonna need to. I think this is gonna be fine. This is saffron. So I'm pick up a little bit of that. And I'm gonna keep, the, keep two brushes because I wanna keep that one nice and clean. So I'm just gonna pull a little bit of the darker yellow around the edge. Okay. And then I'm gonna lift it up. Oh, cool, I can see that. Then I'm going to decide where my next lemon is going to go. This one's going to go here. And if I don't want to get it on that other lemon, I can always just use a little mask. Oops, that's the dark one. Let's go to the light one first. I'm going to do the light one first. I'm going to add a little bit. It's just enough to just add a little, a little more interest to it. So, so far I've just got a couple little lemons. The other thing I can do too is if I wanted to shade next to them, I could. I'm gonna give it a little space here. I'm gonna come down here and give another one. I'm gonna start with my light yellow. Let's pivot that just a tiny bit. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm not worrying about the leaves because I'm gonna be putting on leaves from a different stencil when we're done with this. might grab something a little darker. I might grab just a little bit. An antique gold would have been nice. I didn't grab that, so I might just pick up a tiny bit of brown with this darker yellow. Except for that's deep burgundy. We don't want to do that. That's fine. It's fine. I just want to give it a little more color. I'm just tapping on a little bit. Then always make sure if you're using your stencil over and over again, that you are checking the back of it so it's not wet. Set that down. Back to my yellow. This is my lighter yellow. And these lemons can go any direction. I'm gonna go that way. And then I think I'll pull one that's gonna come about here, but I'm just gonna see part of it. So I'm gonna not, well, we can make that one behind it. So let's go ahead and put the yellow here. And I think we'll add a little more. Our stencils are cut so cleanly that it's so nice to be able to go back and add a shade or a second coat and how well they line up. So I just added a little shading on that one. I'm gonna go around, checking my lemons out. Here's my light lemon, oh, one lemon here. Offloading. All our projects, we can get very, very detailed with our projects, or we can keep them pretty simple. This is a much simpler project, but sometimes that's just all we need. And while I'm doing this on a board that's going to be a sign, you could certainly add some lemons just to any of those positive sayings. And a little more color. Making sure I can see where my lemon is. Picking up a little more. Now the leaves, there are little leaves here and I could actually fill in lots and lots of little leaves, but one of our new spring stencils, and I may not have actually linked this one, so if I didn't, I apologize. I was trying to get them all. Um, but the new summer, no, it's summer, spring, <laughs> spring welcome has some wonderful leaves. Hmm, where am I going with this one? I think we're gonna go this way with this one. We're just gonna pull through. And they're different shaped leaves and they really looked nice with the lemons so because lemon leaves they have the little ones on them but they also have these longer ones so we're, we're gonna have some creative licensing with our our uh, leaves okay i'm gonna add a little of that darker color just to keep them a little different was a funky color we ended up making. I thought I grabbed brown, but I didn't. I grabbed um, a little deep burgundy and it's working fine. It kind of is giving him just a little bit of shading. And let's go just a couple more. One, oh, one coming off this way. Because if you put things in a wreath, I'm not much of a, a florist, floral person, uh, but 
you know, I know they don't all hang the same way. So tapping a little bit of that on. And I think we've got room for one more right here. Yes, I'm offloading my paint very, very much. So it is very dry. So I don't, I'm not worried about smearing them or anything else. So I've got these yellow dots around here. <laughs> That's about all they look like. But what I found was I loved these leaves from this, whoops, it's upside down here, this stencil. This is called the Spring Welcome Perfect for Door Hangers 2-Pack. And there's a welcome. And then there is all these flowers. But look how fun those leaves are. So you can use any of them to embellish your flowers, or in this case, we're gonna do leaves. So I'm gonna wrap this in. I'm gonna just wipe that one off. I might need that one later. And we're gonna grab us another little brush. And I wanted these leaves to be kind of softer greens. So, oh, I haven't even opened that paint yet. It's like a new paint. It's like a new new toy for a <laughs> for a painter. So there's that one, and then this is eucalyptus leaves. So these are the two greens that I'm just going to go between, and I'm probably just going to use this one brush or one sponge and just go between them, and because that way I'll have a nice mixed color. Did I not just grab a brush? I guess I didn't. I guess we will. Okay, I'm going to grab this little one, and I'm just going to pick up a little bit of both those colors, and I'm going to offload it. I like the lighter one a little more. We're done with our lemon. So I'm gonna add a leaf here. Now again, if, if I'm going, <clears throat> if I'm putting these somewhere, is that the leaf I wanted? No, this is, that's the leaf I wanted. If I don't want them to go on top of my lemon, I can just see where the lemon is at and put down a mask. And I'm gonna pick this one here. And again, I'm just gonna put this little bit, excuse my dirty stencil, I didn't get a chance to get it clean. I was playing with color before I started. I'll grab that one, I'm gonna grab something a little lighter. And let's go with this one up here. Again, make sure you're checking the back of your stencil too, so that you're not getting paint from the back of your stencil on your project where you don't want it. That one. <sighs> and the other thing that's super nice about this is that I can switch over and use another leaf here. I'm gonna stick just this little one out of here. I don't want them on my lemon, so I'm just gonna pull a little in there. And we're gonna need some some hanging out here. Let's see if we can find one that's got a couple of them that'll work. I think. Hmm. Well, we're just gonna go one at a time. We'll do this one first. I'll let this be a longer one. And whether it's the lemon that I don't want to get on, or if I want to make sure I'm not getting that flower here, obviously we can tape. And I could have taped off all the other things. Hello, Shirley, you're not late. You're just you're where you're supposed to be when you're supposed to be there. Thank you for the sprinkle, Miss Cindy. Appreciate that very, very much. I'm just gonna do that. Okay, so now I can position that little, that, that leaf, that leaf. <laughs> it's a leaf, right? Yeah, it is a leaf. Okay. And I still managed to get a touch, but that's okay. And I'm just going to continue doing this all the way around until I have the leaves, enough leaves of where I want them. So as I said in the very beginning, there is absolutely no right or wrong way to do this. You might place more leaves, you might place less leaves. And the fun thing about this is that you can leave these as they are. Let me grab my little 
black again. I'm gonna have this all messed up. Or you can add some extra detail to them, either by using our detail brushes, or I think I'm gonna show you with a marker. This nice long branch that's going to come off here, not branch leaf. And then we'll add a little one that comes down this way. And we're almost done. And I'll just pop this little guy in a frame and he will. I would say he'd hang in my kitchen, but I absolutely have no room in my kitchen to hang in anything. Oops, I dropped that. I think I should find a stencil that I'm not gonna be using. Or guess what, I can actually use this. So where was this one going? We're going down here. Sometimes you gotta go back and peek and see what you were doing. So I'm gonna block off my lemon. Business cards work well too, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna block off my lemon where I don't want it to go so it looks some, the leaf will look like it's behind it. If it goes on top of the lemon, of course the leaves are on top of it. Couple more and we should be good to go. I like these longer leaves too because I can use all of it or part of it. So we're using the positive sayings, we're using the lemons, and we had an extra bit of Tammy's hair in there that I don't think we need for stenciling. Grab a little more paint. We'll make this one a little darker. Keeping my brush nice and dry. And we just need one little bit coming in here. I'm gonna borrow this guy. Go right on top of this lemon. Okay. So there we have it, just simply done that way. And I said, I'm gonna just add a little more detail to them. So you, we absolutely could go back in with paint and outline everything with a, a detail brush. Our detail brushes are fabulous and I use them for tons of things. But today, I'm gonna just do it a little quicker. I'm gonna use a pen. These are not paint pens, these are actually uh, regular ink pens, but they are permanent and they are waterproof. So the big key, if you're going to be using a pen or even a paint pen, is to make sure whatever you're painting on is dry. You don't want to run a pen or a paint pen through wet paint. This is a great set. Um, it's a Pigma Micron set and there's a bunch of different tips and the tips will show up in numbers. The smaller the number, the smaller the tip. So that's just how it goes. And I want to show you real quick, I did start trying to use a paint pen and the paint pens come in different uh, points as well, but the one I had was just a little too thick for me. So that's why I decided to grab one of the thinner ones. And this is where you can add your details. And I'm just gonna go around my lemon. Just so they show up a little bit. I'm gonna go around them first and then I'll come back and add a little more detail. And remember, you can always look at the lemon to see which way did, did I put that little point. So this one, I came down here. And this one came this way. And this one's gonna come over here. And this one actually went this way. And this one's on top of this. So this way you can also help define which one was on top. I'm gonna show you a way to add a little bit of shading with these pens too. Okay, so there I've just outlined the, the lemons. And then I can come back and I can add as many little detail lines as I want. Or if I've got a lemon that I know is behind, I might just add some little dots to add some shading to them. 
If I need them to be more attached to something, I can. So just these little dots. So your big thing is you just want to really make sure that your paint is dry. And this lemon is kind of sitting behind this leaf, so we'll shade that. You can come back and add just a vein into the leaf or you can outline it completely. I tend to be rather random with my markings. I just kind of feel like more random makes them more, well, makes them not perfect and heaven knows. I am not perfect. A day late, but happy International Days to all the ladies out there. Yesterday was International Women's Day. I know some very, very wonderful, powerful women in my life. And where would we be without women? <laughs> okay, so there I have, I'm gonna add a few little dots here, maybe a couple of lines here. Just adding a little more of the little details just really kind of helps it bring it to life. And see how much fun it is to have just another little color in those lemons. The lemons are basically yellow, but it's kind of fun to have a little different shade in them. And like I said, I am just merely going to pop this in a frame. These were uh, signs that we ended up getting at our one of our restores, and I bought them for the frames and I painted on painted on the signs. So there we have the Live Simply. And now we get to move on to something from the new collection. And I'm really excited to do this. I have had this surface for a long time. I just need to move some of this stuff out because my surface is a little larger. And I've been trying to think of what to do with it. And again, apologize for that dirty stencil. And I think this is gonna be just about perfect. So, let me show you the stencils we're going to be using. We're going to be using the, the floral mini tags, flower mini tags. So there's a poppy and a tulip and a, a petal flower. It could be a daisy, but it could also be, you know, any other petal flower you want. Um, I'll be using one of the ones from Saved by Grace. Saved by Grace has some really great inspirational sayings. Uh, Saved by Grace. How convenient that that's what it's named. Amazing Grace. Keep the faith. Oops, I'm sorry. Made to worship forever and ever. Amen. And the one we're going to use is also in this set, and it is Let Your Light Shine. So we'll be using that. Let's set that set aside for a sec. Yeah. And the other set I'm going to be using is one that Sharon used last night, um, the Whimsical, wild, wild, oh, whimsical Wildflowers. These are six, there are six in this set. <laughs> uh, Love Grows Here. Love that one. She's a wildflower. Stay wild. This little envelope. Sweet little envelope with those little flowers in it. And, oh, we're gonna have to borrow this one again. Wild at Heart. Okay, that one needs to get cleaned. Okay. So those are the stencils I'm gonna be using for this little project. Now, what am I gonna do, the, do with this on? <laughs> I'm gonna set those in case I need them again. Here's this one that I need. And I've had this surface, hang on, hang on, it's coming, it's coming. I might need to move you back a little bit. This is an old door from, I'm guessing a cupboard. <laughs> Not sure, I wasn't there when it was attached to something, but I love the old hardware. I love, um, I love the crackled finish in this. So I can't tell you what color this was. <laughs> <laughs> just can't. Um, and as I'm getting ready to do this, I'm just thinking about something. Will they fit better this way? 
Guys, I was planning on this, but I might, I might switch it up this way. I wonder if we could then, I think we're going to do it this way. <gasps> Why? Because then I can do, you can hang it then from the, what are these? <laughs> Hinges. <laughs> I don't even know that's a possibility because the hanging things does not fall into my category. It falls into my husband's category. Whoops, I'm dropping stuff. But I think it'll work this way. Okay, so I've chosen, will it work this way? Yeah, I like it that way better. Hey, <laughs> he just came down to give me his approval. Make it easier to hang. Yeah, because you could, we could, you could, um, you might be able to just hang through those little areas. I mean, you see those, these, oh, they're there. Or you could probably run some, um, oh, come on, Tammy, rope, something through them, something. <laughs> I love the door too. I have I have had this for a long time and I've been really wanting to do something with it, but just wasn't sure what. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you first of all that when it comes to doing the lettering, which I'm gonna do second, um, these just don't quite fit, but they're close enough for me to be able to, I'm gonna finagle a little bit and I might have to hold them down a little bit. Not always the most ideal thing, but sometimes we make things work the best we can. Excuse me, I need a drink of water. But we're gonna start with the flowers and ignore that that one's dirty. I'm gonna start with a little daisy. I'm gonna wrap my little brushes up here. And I'm gonna tape it down. I, I know you've you've seen some of these already this week and you'll probably be seeing some more of them, but there's so many ways we can use our our stencils. Okay, I'm gonna have to hold this one down a tiny bit as well. Actually am I? No, just a little bit. That's okay. And I'm not going to do do. I'm gonna do my petals first, and I'm gonna do my petals first in a light blue, okay? A very light blue, it wouldn't really matter. Um, the color, this I think is Blue Haven, I'm not sure. But I want it to be a little bit of light blue because I want there to be a little color other than just straight white coming through. So because I'm gonna do that, since I'm gonna do so many, I'm gonna pick it up with a little bit of a sponge. If I use a makeup sponge, I'm still gonna offload. So I'm gonna hang on to this and I'm just gonna tap the blue and this, this door is very pale, so when I put a pale color on it, I'm not gonna see a lot of it. I'll, I'll pull it up and pull you closer to see it when I pull this up in just a sec. In just a sec. Okay, so if I peek, you can barely see that blue, okay? But that's okay. I'm gonna let that blue dry. It's not gonna take but a second, but while it's kind of is it dry already? It's dry already. It's dry already. I'm gonna grab a little bit of white. I'm gonna grab it on a sponge. I'm gonna tap it off. And I'm going to stencil this stronger at the tips. And I'm gonna let a little of that blue still show through as I get closer to the center. I'm gonna go over them, but I'm just gonna get a little lighter as I go. I need some more white paint, here we go, oops. Thank you for the hearts, I appreciate it. I certainly hope that we are getting this all over the place. That would be awesome, awesome, awesome. I would love for you to be sharing. So I'm gonna go grab a little more of my white, tap it off. I'm just gonna be a little stronger on the edges. And I obviously haven't done this before, so I don't know for sure if it's going to work, but I believe it will. I'm so excited. You have no idea. I wanted to do this door for so long. I'm grabbing a scissors because I want to cut this in half. Oh, those hearts are so sweet. Thank you, guys. So I'm cutting a, a little sponge in half, and I'm going to pick up one of the yellows that I still have on my plate. 
maybe, maybe I am. <laughs> Apparently we did a good job of predicting how much paint I was gonna need because I didn't have any left over. Just a touch. But again, we're gonna offload that. This is just for the center. We're gonna add a little more detail to that center too, but for now it's fine. And I can just snip, snip. I'm not sure this green is gonna show up. I might have to grab another green, which is, I think this might, hmm, I'm not sure. Well, let's, I'm gonna try the eucalyptus and see if that will show up. I, I like how soft it is. And I just think it might be more subtle. But if not, we can always grab a Hauser green. So I'm gonna peek. Okay, I'm peeking. I'm gonna pull just a little more of that white back just a little closer to my center because I want to see the blue, but I would definitely want to see the white on the edge of my petals. So I want those nice and strong. Because I'm offloading this, I can do that. And I can come back and I can even enhance that petal or that, that, that stem if I need to. Okay, so this is what we have thus far. Okay, now I'm just gonna use the tip of one of our detail brushes, but I wanna tell you an easy thing you could use would also be if you happen to have something like a stylus that's a dotting tool, or a toothpick would work just as well for what I'm gonna show you. But I'm just gonna use the tip of our, our little detail brushes because they're fabulous. So I'm just taking the tip, just the very tip of it, and I'm just going to add some little dots. You don't have to go all the way around, or you can. You don't all have to be the exact same size. I just think it's a great way to connect the petals to the flowers. And I added just a couple little dots in the center as well. I'm going to rinse that off. I am gonna pull a little of the green I just used and just make sure it goes all the way up to my flower. I'm gonna lighten that with a little bit of the yellow I have here. And I'm just gonna pull a vein in my leaf. So a very simple little flower. Those little daisies could be used on so many things. I think they'd be adorable around um, like the pant leg or on the bottom of a jacket, a jean jacket. I have a jean jacket I need to do, so maybe I'll do that. Okay, I'm gonna hop down here and do the, the poppies. And I was playing with the poppies, which as you could probably tell by looking at them, right? And I love poppies and I like them, they come in different colors, but I wanted these to be kind of um, that orangey red poppy. So that's what I was playing with here. And so that is exactly what we're going to do. Let me see if I can just clean this up a tiny bit. I need another paper towel. There we go, there we go, got it. So I picked a couple colors. I'm done with the, the um, blue, so I'm just gonna snip that off. Isn't that great how that works? <laughs> so I'm gonna dab into an orangey color and this is, I will tell you in a moment what this was. I have no idea what this was. I must have set it aside. I did set it aside, it's right here. Georgia clay. So it's a really pretty, um, folly orangey color but it was great to have it down first and I should have taped this I didn't but that's okay we're gonna be okay with it because I wanted to see some of that orangey color through here too so let me get this on here it's all on but 
Then I'm going to pick up a little just straight red. This is just primary red. Tapping it off. And I'm going to pull that, tap that just kind of on the bottom parts of my petals. Now if I go a little bit over them, it's fine too. But it'll give it a little deeper color. And I'm going to borrow that white sponge that we had. And I'm just going to pull white down from my petals back into my flower a little bit. It's like where the sun would hit it. And if I have a spot that I may have gone over a little too much, guess what? I'll just we'll go back the other way. And then I'll lift that up. Okay. Now, the inside of a poppy is a little more on the has black in the middle of it. So again, I'm going to bar go to our detail brush. I'm going to grab a little bit of black. And when I fill this in, I am going to fill it in, but I'm just going to kind of tap it in. So it's almost like little, little dots. So it gets filled in mostly, but there's some space between those dots. So I see a little bit of my background. Now our detail brushes, like I said, are great for filling in our bridges. So I could come back and fill in the bridge. Let me use the red between my petals. Get the darker here, the dark between them. Or you can leave them. It doesn't really. It's really up to you. So I'm going to use this little bit more dark here. If I need it to be even a little darker, I can even add a little black to my red. I'm going to have to put, my, put this back on here, but I did those dots, and so I might have to let it dry for a little bit. I'm going to pick up a little bit of yellow, and on the tip of my, I'm going to pull a couple little yellow dots up in here, too. Okay. And I should have done the leaves first, okay? So <laughs> we're going to have to let those dots dry, or I might have to hit them with a blow dryer, but it's okay. I've got enough room here I can reach over it. So I'm going to use Grow Happy Thoughts. This is from the Whimsical uh, Wildflower set. And I said I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to, have to play a little tiny bit, but that's okay. It's okay. I'm going to start taping it down. And we'll, we'll play with that flower first. And then we'll put the, put the stencil back on and put the words on. Oh, thank you. Some days I wish I could paint all day long. There's the other part of business that takes, <laughs> it takes, <laughs> takes you away from painting. All right, so I'm gonna treat this guy like, what are we gonna treat him like? You know, don't know that we wanna really, eh, maybe we could. I didn't think this through very well. I'm going to grab some brown and we're gonna put brown in the center of this flower. And I'm just tapping it on my spot parts here. So let's just start with that. And this one is really more the outline, but I'm going to want to think I want to. I don't know. Mm, can't decide. I think I want to fill it in, but I don't know that I want it to be quite as dark as that uh, Georgia clay, but that's okay. I can mix a color. I'm going to mix a little bit of that Georgia clay and a little bit of that saffron yellow I had. Sure I am. So I've got a little Georgia clay here. I've got a little bit of this yellow here. I'm going to make a, just a lighter color. I kind of want them to look a little bit like a Black Eyed Susan. 
I think that's a good color. Just remember how I mix that. And then I'm just gonna come over here and we're gonna see what it looks like first if I just wanna leave it with the outline. I might. It might be just different enough so that my main flowers are filled in and maybe this is just the little outline. We'll still add some details to it. Fear not. Okay, before I lift it up, I'm gonna find that green one we had. And I'm gonna do the leaves, it'll be consistent. And the stem, get skinny, get skinny, get skinny, get skinny, get skinny, get skinny. And I'll lift that off for now. I don't know. Should we fill it in or should we leave it? What do you think? You have to let me know. I'll leave it for right now. Tell me if you think it should be filled in or if we should just leave it. I'll watch for some comments and we'll see. Yeah, it turned out to be a really pretty color. I kind of like that color. Hello, hello, hello. I'm check catching some comments. Well, why we're deciding, I'm gonna go ahead and do the lettering on this. Now, I don't think that green is dark enough for our lettering, so Someone says fill it in. I'm gonna scroll. We'll, we'll we'll give it a second to to uh, I don't know, macerate. I don't know what the right word is. But for right now, before I fill it in, because I'd have to take it off to fill it in, I'm gonna play a bit with my words. Okay, and it does. I don't have to match this up completely because I'm gonna have to play with the words a tiny bit anyhow. So we're gonna start with the grow, and I think we're gonna see if brown will work with this. I think it will. Mm. Look at me changing my mind. Well, the nice thing is if I if I try it with brown and it doesn't work, I can always put black on it. Um that was the problem. When I grabbed the brown, it wasn't brown. It was deep burgundy. And I don't believe that's our color of choice. We're going black. We're just going to go black. <laughs> It'll stand out. I can lighten it just a little bit by adding a little bit of white so we have a nice dark charcoal gray. That's what we'll do. So I'm just lighting it a little bit, just a little more on the charcoal gray than just the black. I just added a little white to it. Okay, so grow. Here we go. Let's grow. Make sure that is nice and dry. It seemed a little wet. Be careful around my flower here. Okay, so we get grow. We got to grow. I'm just going to scooch happy up just a tiny, tiny bit. And I'm realizing I do need, happy needs to be right where that flower was because do you know what, guys? The Y in happy is part of the stem. I didn't, did not even realize that. I didn't. Huh. Well, now I know. So here's happy. And yes, I am going over that stem a little bit. And you knew I'd go over my fingers before the day was over, didn't you? I am gonna have to play with thoughts a little bit, so I might have to move thoughts. So let's just see how that works. Grow happy. Let's get thoughts in here. We're going to just have to hold this down a little bit, but we're going to be okay with that, okay? So here we go. I'm hanging on to it. If I have to catch the bottoms of these letters with a detail brush, it won't be a problem at all. And I'm going to see how this is. 
and I am going to have to catch the bottom of them, and that's okay. That is absolutely okay. I'm going to grab that little brush I had, maybe even a little smaller brush. I'm going to pick up the color I mixed, and I'm just going to add a little bit on the bottoms. Boop, boop, boop. Really, the ones I have to worry about are the G and the bottom of the S. Oh, probably the U too, huh? And the O. Okay, so all of them. <laughs> but I'm just catching the bottom of them. Absolutely fine. All right, I'm going to look real quick and see what did we say. I think we saw quite a few of... Oh, we've got to leave it alone. Fill it in. Fill it in lightly. That was kind of my thought, was to just do it really lightly. So I'm going to go back to our detail brush. I remember I mixed that color, so I've got to, going to have to mix a little bit of that color again. So here is a little bit of the orange, a little bit of the yellow. I'm going to thin that down with a little bit of water, so it's a little sheer. Whenever I thin my paint down with water, I tap on a paper towel. That way I'm still getting the thinned color, but I'm not getting all that water that doesn't know where it wants to go. So let's just try to fill this in lightly. And the nice thing about filling it lightly, if I don't like that, I can always go back to filling it in more heavily. It's just paint. But in general, I'm really kind of liking it. I'm liking the door a lot. That could create a small problem. It may mean I want it. <laughs> So I'm picking up a little more of that paint and I'm going to just pull a little, make it a little heavier just on the edges, the bottom edges of the petals. I'm going to make it a little heavier. Okay. I'm going to rinse that out of my brush. I'm going to pull a little brown, like a little line of brown, and I'm going to just Add some dots at the bottom of this center so that they connect to my petals like I did with the daisy. And I think I'm just going to tap those little dots all the way around him too. Just makes it look a little more fuzzy. I know we want nice crisp lines with our stenciling, but some flower centers are a little more fuzzy. And so that's what we're going to do. We're just going to tap little taps. I'll pull this up here in just a second. You're going to see how it's looking. And I might even add a little bit of a petal line with the brown. Just one little petal line. Okay, let's show you guys that real quick. Rinse this up first. You see the Black Eyed Susan? I hold it up, I can't really see it, the, my iPad, but I think he's pretty cute. I'm also going to, with that detail brush I just had, let me go back with that, the, that color I used for the letters. My top of my P got a little light, so I'm just gonna darken it. Same with this one. And I think it'll just look a little better if I go over the Y with that dark color. I tried to do that, but I think because it was small and I was kind of fighting the stencil a little bit. Grow happy thoughts. Are our dots dried on here? I'm not sure, but we're not going to chance it. We'll just go down and do this guy here. So I liked the light, let your light shine. I thought that really was a nice little saying to bounce off of the grow happy thoughts. And that one was from the, <clears throat> what is that set called? Oh, grow, grow and grace, grow and grace. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna load my brush with that kind of mixed color I made. So it's a dark gray. We're just gonna call it a dark gray. I'm gonna offload, and this one I should be able to do until I get to the curly cue. Then I might have to hang on to that one a little tighter. So here we go. Let your light, and I'll have to finish it off with 
what we're gonna do on this poppy to get it done. We don't wanna let it hang out there. It's been fun seeing what you guys are creating with the new stencils. Like I said earlier, really, the sky is the limit. I mean, there's so many fun ideas that people are sharing and different things that you're gonna come up with. Make sure you do share them though. I'm just hanging onto the stencil because it's a little, little too big for this space. But you know what I'm doing. I'm swirling. I'm swirling my off-loaded paint. I'm gonna hang onto this really well here. Oh, this little swirl right here just might have to get filled in with a detail brush, but that's okay. That's the other great thing about those brushes. If we have little spots we have to come back and fill in, they're right there for us. Whoops, okay, now let me lift that. Let your light shine. Very, very sweet. Let's set that one here. All my stencils that are gonna need to get cleaned. Set those aside. And let's, oh, we need our poppy again. We need our poppy. Here's our poppy. I think they're dry. I hope they're dry. <laughs> so I need to put this back on my little poppy or pretty close to it so I can just do those leaves. I might cheat a little, just move it up a little bit. We'll tape this back down. And I am, we're gonna stick to the same greens. We're sticking to the same greens. We might lighten up those little, um, the, the poppy, poppy pods. That's not the right word for them, I'm sure. <laughs> and guys, we'd appreciate it so much if when you are, if you decide you need to get these stencils, go ahead and use Cheers. It'll save you 10% and It'll make me happy. Okay, here, oops, that wasn't good. <laughs> Our share sign almost hit the dust. Okay, I need a tiny bit more paint. And I did just pull that off because it was a little dry. Kept it on, so we're gonna go in with our little, we put this leaf here, our stem, our little pod up our stem. I'm going to take that all the way up with my detail brush here in just a sec. Little pod. While I still have that on my sponge, I've picked up a little bit of the yellow just so I can make those a little lighter. Those little pods a little lighter. Okay. I'm going to need my detail brush. Oops. Grab that little detail brush super quick. And just gonna make sure my stem is connected to my flower. And I'm gonna add just a couple little bits of grass underneath my flowers too, so they're not <laughs> floating in midair. <laughs> I'm gonna do that to my little daisy up here too. It's just a Tammy thing. And I'm pretty pleased with this. I think we could darken um that little swirl a little bit. Very cool. So, what do you think? I'm gonna show it to you. I've got to, I gotta scooch back so I can show it to you and so it can be the full thing. Ready? So this is the door. I think I love it. I think I love it. Oh, thank you for all those hearts. That's so sweet. Okay. Grow happy thoughts. Have that little daisy that's from the flower tag set. And we played with that little poppy and we're going to let our light shine. That was our project with the spring collection. And then I know we always need projects to do with 
with some of the stencils we've had from before. So we use, whoops, <laughs> we use one of the positive sayings and we use Live Simply and we just put those sweet, sweet little lemons all the way around and made our own little wreath. Now, let's find out who our winners are for today. Oops, grabbing my iPad because really it's too hard to see my, my phone from there. All right, I've listed all the stencils I used. I think I missed the brushes and I may have missed the welcome from spring, but you can get that by going to EssentialStencil.com and <clears throat> checking it out. So here we go, guys. We have winners. Hey, if you are a winner, please remember you need to email support at EssentialStencil.com and just comment that, hey, I was a winner on Tammy's Live Thursday morning, and they'll get you your set of stencils out to you. Congratulations, Becky Bass Justice, Ginger Tackett, and Deborah Kofer. You are winners this morning. Deborah Kofer, Ginger Tackett, and Becky Bass Justice. Congratulations, guys. Hey, I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your day. Remember, it's Thursday, which is Friday Eve, which is weekend Eve, so it's almost the weekend. <laughs> All right, come follow us over at Cheers to Creativity. We've got some fun stuff going on over there. And until I see you again, please be kind. The world needs your kindness. Be safe and cheers. Bye, guys.